Cancer is a huge threat to human beings around the world. The incidence of cancer keeps increasing with more and more people diagnosed with the disease. Cancer has emerged as one of the most common diseases in India and is responsible for significant deaths every year. This is mostly because of lesser awareness about the prevention, diagnosis and treatment options available. Let us know more about the Indian cancer scenario from Dr. Murli Subramanian who is a practicing medical oncologist with 15 years of experience. He has been an ex professor at MS Ramaya Medical College, currently a medical director at Oncology India. Welcome Dr. Murli. What are the current cancer trends in India? So well, thank you for that introduction. So the scenario of cancer in India is changing. So previously we used to think that it is a disease most prevalent in the West, mm -hmm. but now this disease is becoming more and more common in India. So if we go by the latest available data, almost close to 1.5 million cases of cancer are there at any given point of time in India, projected to increase to almost 1.8 million cases by the end of 2020. So there are various factors uh, ranging from our lifestyle and environmental factors and some of the genetic factors contributing to that this change in the cancer trends in India. Doctor, what are the most common cancers faced in India today? So our pattern of cancers are slightly different from what is seen in the West. So, and also within India, going from north to south and east to west, they are slightly different. But on a broader perspective, breast cancer, cervical cancer, lung cancer, these are some of the most common cancers which are seen in India. And with the use of tobacco and tobacco related products, uh, head and neck cancers are also one of the most uh, common cancers which are seen in India. Today, one of the most common questions once a person diagnosed with uh, cancer uh, is, why me? Yeah, uh, normally when a case is diagnosed and patient is in my office uh, for discussing the treatment options, the first thing they ask is, why me? So yes. I didn't have any habits, but why me? So I try to answer this question by giving them the explanation that uh, cancer is not something which develops overnight. You know, uh, it, it, it requires three factors uh, in combination for the cancer to develop. So what are those three factors? Number one is the first, the genetic makeup of the individual. Second one is the lifestyle of the patient. Mm -hmm. Number three is the environmental factors. Okay. That means the environment in which we live. I always tell the patients that we do not have any control over the environment and then the genetic makeup we receive from our parents and grandparents. See, the only thing which we have under our control is the lifestyle. So leading a healthy lifestyle is the most important factor. So a combination of a bad lifestyle, a bad environmental factor and a bad genetic makeup usually results in cancer. So in a particular patient, it is very difficult to say this is the reason for your cancer, except in a few cases like a lung cancer or a oral cavity cancer where tobacco mm -hmm. is the direct cause of cancer. Doctor, can you throw some light on how early detection of cancer can be done? So there is a myth with most of them that all cancers can be detected early. The real thing is only few cancers can be detected at early in a meaningful way in the sense that when detected early there are effective treatment interventions. So to name a few, one is breast cancer, cervix cancer, both of these occur in female and then the prostate cancer in the male and then the large intestinal cancer otherwise called the colon cancer. These are some of the cancers which can be screened early and intervened early and then the effective treatment can be given to cure the diseases. But unfortunately there are a whole lot of other diseases wherein screening and early detection is still not effective. However, the medicine and science is definitely working towards it. 